Today, I am going to go over wrists. So for some of you, uh, whilst doing boxing or crawling and other exercises, this becomes a bit of an issue. So I'll just go over a couple of exercises uh, which might help out with your wrists and maybe even your elbows in terms of trying to get more movement or mobility through there and create a bit more strength as well. First things first. Now, be careful with this. Uh, like I've hopefully said before, be aware of dosage. So don't go too hard, all right? Just be careful, go within your realms and build from there. So with wrists, what I like to get some clients to do is getting a kneeling position, all right? Or well, if you can't kneel, maybe even half kneel position. And I'm just turning my hands right around like so. So I hope you can see that. Now you might need to do one wrist at a time, but I just pull back and, and this gets into your forearms as well. So for some of you guys that are in front of keyboards and typing and, and doing that sort of stuff, there's a high likelihood you're going to get pretty tight through there. So I might do something like this. And I might hold it for a bit. Okay, then from there, so after holding that for a bit, I might go the other way with clients and turn this all the, other, all the way around. Now some of you might be able to get further, but some of you might really, really, really struggle. But this is one of those things, like many other things that I sort of talk about, work within your capabilities. So I'd also hold that for a bit. That feels pretty good. And I do feel it quite a bit through my forearms, by the way. This is a tricky one. From here, I'm placing my wrist down like so. And I notice a lot of clients really struggle, so that they're here when they're trying to do both wrists. This is what I want and I want you to pull back like so and put a bit of pressure onto the ground. So having like a mat or something soft is going to be important underneath your wrists. Now, with this, once again, you might have to focus on doing one wrist at a time, all right? Not doing both because it is quite painful for you, okay? So that's the mobilization of that. There's this, we'll call this like the teacup or dish, dish drill on the ground. So you might again need to work on one wrist at a time, but this is the other thing that we do. Or what I've been taught is to almost try and lock out your elbow here, a bit of pressure on the mat. You're not, don't spill the tea here, the, or the, the teacup, I should say. So I'm trying to offer a bit of a stretch through here by pulling away and put some pressure into the mat. All right, and you can alternate between both wrists. So we're just trying to mobilize and get some strength in different angles. So we'll call this video wrist part one, and I'll show you some other stuff that I did for wrists uh, when I did the Edu Portal uh, movement workshop.